time. No, you don't. Excuse me? <laughs> I usually sit third row from the back. Oh. So you've noticed me, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I watch you all the time. At school, at the soccer field, at home, at mass. Oh, shoot. I left something in my car. I will be right back. I swear. <laughs> ah! Oh. Hi. Who are you? I'm your guardian angel. Really? Really. Everywhere you go, I'm there. <laughs> well, that's so cool. Well, it's nice to meet you. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't actually have a physical body. Oh. Well, how can I hear you? I'm speaking to your heart. You have a really great heart, Will. <sighs> well, thanks. But you have a very distracted mind. Thanks. Wait, what? I mean, I think it's great that you come to church every Sunday, but, I mean, you spend most of the time thinking about girls and soccer. I thought maybe if I explain things to you, it might help you focus a little bit better. All right, listen, I've been going to church ever since I was born, and I'm pretty sure I know what goes on at Mass. Really? Yeah. What does the word Mass mean? Well, Mass is when Jesus... Okay, maybe I don't know everything that's going on at Mass. Great. Let's go. Go, but I thought you were going to explain the... Mass? Yeah, I am. That's why we're here. Where are we? We're heading to Emmaus. <laughs> we're in Pennsylvania. Actually, we're in Israel at the time of Christ. Look. How could this happen? I mean, so undeserving of these things. What are you two talking about? Are you the only person in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened here these past few days? What things have happened? The things that happened to Jesus, the Nazarene, a prophet who was mighty in word and deed. Who are those guys? Uh, Cleopas, David, and, uh, well, Jesus. Jesus. Like as in Jesus, Jesus. Huh? Yeah. Oh my god. That is probably the first time you've ever used that phrase correctly. But wait, Just hold on. Just listen. How foolish you are. How slow to understand all the prophet spoke. Was it not necessary for the Messiah to suffer these wrongs, so that he could enter into his glory? Then, beginning with Moses and the prophets, he interpreted to them all that referred to him in all the scriptures. Where, where, where did Jesus go? He's still here, speaking to us in the scriptures. Mass always begins with the liturgy of the word, where God speaks to us, just like on the road to Emmaus, where Jesus explained the scriptures to the disciples. That's the first part of Mass. But they urged him, stay with us a little longer, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So we went in to stay with them. Jesus is in my church. Shocking. Oh my God. And that's the second time. Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which has been given up for you. Where did he go? Was that? It was Jesus. It must have been. Were not our hearts burning inside us as he explained the scriptures to us? I did not recognize him until he broke the bread. We must tell the others. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! What just happened? They've gone to proclaim the gospel of the Lord. No, but what just happened here? We've just experienced Mass in its earliest form. The scriptures were proclaimed and the Eucharist was celebrated. The Word prepares us for the sacrament. Yeah, but... That Mass was celebrated by Jesus. Every Mass is celebrated by Jesus. He is the Word spoken in the Bible. He offers the sacrifice, and He Himself is the sacrifice. Every Mass is broken into two parts, the Liturgy of the Word and the Liturgy of the Eucharist. We hear Him in the Scriptures, and we experience Him in the Sacrament. But we have to be paying attention. After listening to the Scriptures, these disciples recognized Jesus in the breaking of the bread. Do you? 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Wow, I never knew. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the Lord bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Tell me what mass means. It means to go or to be sent on mission. What did the disciples do after they recognized Jesus in the breaking of the bread? They left to go tell others what they had seen. Exactly. That gospel story is about one of the first appearances of the resurrected Christ and has always been our pattern for the mass. Jesus broke open the scriptures, then he broke the bread, and then the disciples went out to share what they have seen. Liturgy of the Word, Liturgy of the Eucharist, and a blessing to go forth and share what you've experienced. It all makes sense to me now. <laughs> well, how could I ever thank you? Don't thank me. Thank God. Now go and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>